This peaceful image of St. Mary's was taken by amateur landscape photographer Herb King over a century ago. When I arrived at St. Mary's to recreate Herb's image, I immediately fell in love with this town. I parked my camper in the shade opposite the old hotel and walked over to the bridge to set up my tripod. Well, I'm here in St. Mary's and behind me is the St. Mary's Bridge. Again, not the same bridge that was featured in Herb King's original image. That beautiful old wooden bridge is long gone, but we're pretty much well standing directly in the location where he would have taken that image. With the original image as reference in my viewfinder, I lined up the bridge and buildings and took my shot. So what has changed at St Mary's over the last century? Let's dive in and take a closer look. The wooden building on the other side of the bridge is the St Mary's Bakery. Now a heritage listed building, the bakery continues to provide the local community and visitors with freshly baked goods. When Herb was here, the impressive 694 metre high rocky outcrop of St Patrick's Head was visible from this spot. From this angle today, a beautiful mature tree now obscures the view through to this popular hiking peak that dominates the skyline of the town. Herb had a clear, unobstructed view down to the calm, reflective waters of the St. Mary's Rivulet. Nowadays, the embankment is covered with foliage, berry bushes and other native shrubs. Back in 1995, as part of the Land Care Tasmania project, the St. Mary's community came together to regenerate this riverbank. A wooden plaque near the bridge commemorates the contribution locals made to the conservation of this area. With a passion for natural history and conservation, if Herb was alive today, he would have been a keen supporter of the Landcare Tasmania project. The old wooden bridge is long gone. The wooden retaining wall has been replaced by this concrete abutment that provides increased support for the new bridge structure above. The long wooden piers are also gone, but not entirely forgotten. As I leaned forward to pick a ripe berry off a bush, I glanced down and saw a collection of old wooden stumps nestled in the riverbed. It was time to walk over to the other side and investigate further. Whilst crossing the bridge, I spotted a family of ducks and ducklings preening themselves on the grassy riverbank below. Thankfully, a strategically positioned sign on the bridge alerts motorists to the presence of wildlife. A surprise awaited me down on the far riverbank. Tucked in underneath the bridge, there were several more wooden pier stumps. I was just about to leave St Mary's thinking I couldn't get a, a proper angle. And then I noticed down in the water here, these wooden pylons. And I realized these are the original pylons from the bridge that you see in Herb's photo. They are reasonably quite well preserved. Um, in many other bridges I've looked at, they haven't left them in. Um, the reason being is probably the high cost to remove them. Also, St Mary's is a smaller town. They probably thought, well, there was really no point to remove them. But what you see behind me here in these pylons, they're dotted all the way even into the shadows, is all that remains of the bridge that you see in Herb's original photograph. Using the alignment of the old pier stumps in 2019, we can identify the same piers in Herb's image from over a century ago. As well as all the physical changes, I did discover something that had not changed at St Mary's. When Herb pressed his shutter over 100 years ago, what he captured in that second has existed in every minute, every hour, 
every day, every week, every month, every year, and every decade since. And that something is timelessness.